Hello guys, welcome to the Signus Text. Today we are going to study microprocessors and microcontrollers. It is a subject of S5 KTU Computer Science students. It is one of the interesting subjects of engineering. Syllabus of Module 1 Evolution of microprocessors 8086 microprocessor Then its architecture and signals Memory organization Minimum and maximum mode of operation Minimum mode uh, timing diagram Comparison of 8086 and 8088 Then, in this video, I will tell you basic things of microprocessor. First, what is microprocessor? It is a program control device that fetches, decodes and executes instruction. That fetches, decodes and executes instruction. It is used as a CPU in a computer. Just like uh, we say CPU is the brain of the computer. That, just like that Microprocessor is the brain of the computer. Without a microprocessor, CPU has no use. Okay. I will simply explain what is a microprocessor. It's a small chip. Microprocessor is a small chip. From the word microprocessor. Micro meaning small. Micro meaning small. Okay. Then. A microprocessor is identified using size of the data uh, as 8-bit microprocessor, 16-bit microprocessor or 32-bit microprocessor. What is a 8-bit microprocessor? 8-bit microprocessor that use, that use 8-bit word that use 8-bit word. 8-bit microprocessor use 8-bit word. Then 16-bit microprocessor use 16-bit word. Okay. 16-bit microprocessor use 16-bit word. Then coming to the figure. This is the basic figure of microprocessor. It contains ALU, flag register, timing and control unit, Register array or the internal memory instruction decoding unit, PC or IP, that is a program counter or instruction pointer. Then ALU. ALU uh, perform arithmetic and logic operations on the binary data. ALU perform the arithmetic and logic operations on the binary data. Then there is a flag register. Then there is a Flag register. It stores the status bits that are found after the execution of an ALU operation. Flag register used to store status bits that are stored after the execution of ALU operation. Then there is a register array or an internal memory. Uh, it, this stores the in a, it, it is stored the in the is it is also known as internal storage device. That means it is store all the data. That is input to the ALU and output from the ALU and all the binary information that needed for processing are stored in the register array or the internal memory. Then timing and control unit that it generate necessary timing and control signals for the internal and external operations of the microprocessor the uh, this timing and control units generate the necessary timing and control signals for the internal and external operations of the microprocessor then pc or ip Program counter or instruction pointer used to store address of next instruction to be executed. Address of next instruction to be executed. Then, is there, then there is a instruction decoding unit that it decodes the instructions. That decodes the instruction. Once more I will say. 
ALU is the arithmetic and logic operations on the binary data. Flag register store the status bits after the operation of the uh, ALU. Uh, then flag uh, register array also known as internal memory that stores the internal that is an internal storage device that is store all the binary information for the processing or the input and uh, input to the ALU and output from the ALU then PC or IP so the address of next instruction to be executed timing and control signals generate timing and control signals for internal and external operations of the microprocessor then there is also an in, uh, also an instruction decoding unit that decodes the instruction okay that's all for today's video thank you